I'm Manal Matani, host of Sense of Place, weekday mornings at 10. And you're listening to Roundhouse Radio On Demand. Chris Pollitt makes a living out of making other people laugh. And today he's here to tell us why it is that it's important to take active time out of your day to laugh a little bit and why giggling can be good for you. Chris and his associate Crystal have started up a Mount Pleasant Laughter Club every Saturday, 11 to 12 at the Hub. And that's a by donation laughter club. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm doing well. Well, I can't wait to hear a little bit more about this, you know, because I think, you know, it sounds like a wonderful initiative. So, Chris... I think I have to start with a very kind of stupid question, so forgive me. What is laughter yoga? Is it laughter and yoga together? Uh, It's a common misconception. There's Mm. actually no asanas. There's no poses. Uh, The reason it's called laughter yoga is because it comes from India. And it was the uh, brainchild of uh, Madan Kataria, a a medical doctor, and his wife, Madhuri Kataria, who was a, a yoga instructor. And uh, the the idea, the story is, is that uh, Madame was reading the medical research on how laughter really is good for you. We we hear the expression, laughter is the best medicine. Uh, they've, they've researched this, and it really is good for you. And uh, it's good for you emotionally, physically, relationally, uh, in many, many, many ways. And so he thought, well, you know, the next time someone comes in and they say, no, doctor, I'm, I'm feeling a little sad or I'm a little stressed, uh, he wanted to get out of his pad and say, okay, well, you know, please laugh 15 minutes a day. I <laughs> uh, can't do that, of course. And so he started a joke club uh, because you know, most people associate laughing with jokes, and so did he. And so he went into the park one morning and with his wife and managed to grab three random strangers and said, hey, let's let's tell jokes together. And Oh, okay. And so they, that worked and they laughed and they came back the next day and more people and more jokes. And uh, by the end of the week, there was apparently 50 people in this joke club, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but what happened was they ran out of good jokes and they got into the not so good jokes and people began to be offended and, and they began to leave. And, and the good doctor says, wait, wait, this is working. I can see people are becoming healthier and happier. Uh, let's continue this tomorrow. We'll try something new. And so we went home and talked to his wife and and she said, well, you know, you could do some yogic breathing and maybe make the sounds of laughter and not actually tell jokes and maybe that will work. And so they went back the next day and he said, okay, no more jokes. We're just going to pretend to laugh and and uh, make the sounds of laughter. And that was the birth of laughter yoga. Uh, that was uh, back in 95, so 21 years ago. And the rest is history, as, as they, they say. say yes. Well, I wanted to ask you, Chris, how you got involved. I mean, it seems like, a, I mean, obviously, I think this emerges, emerged from India originally, but how did you get involved with Lot, this, this interesting uh, project? Yes. Yeah, so uh, at a company I used to work for, I, um, they used to have fun days. And so each team got to pick what they did for their fun day. We went uh, fishing and, and someone caught a mossy covered rock. So that was a bit of a failure. But another group brought in a laughter yoga leader and they had a great time. And they said, look, come back and we'll open it up to the whole department. And so I went to that second session and it was love at first laugh. Love and at first laugh. I, oh. uh, I said, this is, this is important. This isn't just good. This is important. And uh, I immediately started leading a club at my work. And uh, no training. I just said, "This I need to do this. And so there was another person that had some training. And together we called that a, a monthly group at my work. I'm talking to Chris Paula today. He's a laughter yoga practitioner by night and a career development practitioner by day. Well, I love the fact that you said, like, this is something that, you know, it was, you know, the, it's really captivated you mm. immediately. Mm. How much laughter, how much laughing were you doing before and how much more laughing are you doing now? Well, I mean, I was always told that I had a good laugh, and um, so having a good laugh is nice, but if you don't employ it, what's the point? Um, Yeah, certainly more now, especially now because I'm helping to co-lead three different clubs, and so I'm getting a lot of laughter in. Um, When I first got into laughter, I would go religiously to the laughter club, and then I ended up going to uh, two more and starting another one, so I was doing four times a week. Uh, back in 2010, it was a crazy summer, um, but it was good. That was back when I started my company, and I had the idea to do a daily laughter video. And so I daily laughter video. I know, What's that? It's crazy. Uh, so I was between jobs, and so I thought to fill the time, I would go out with my uh, trusty new smartphone, and I would grab a random stranger on the street, and I'd say, "Hey, would you like to laugh with me?" And uh, surprisingly, people said yes. And so I would video us laughing and I would post it up on YouTube. And uh, I did this for, uh, originally I was going to do it for 100 days. Uh, But after day 100, uh, I kept going and I went for 130 days. And then I went away to film school and I I stopped. 
But so yeah, I have 130 days of me laughing with uh, airline pilots and police officers and firefighters and all sorts of walks of life. How do you get them to laugh? Is it just like you just say start laughing and then you guys just laugh together? We just, laugh we just, I just say let's laugh and people just kind of spontaneously. I mean, it helps that I have a very infectious laugh. Uh, so as a as a laughter leader, it helps if you if your laughter is is, is rather funny. Well, you and know, so- you can't just get away with saying you have an infectious laugh and us not hearing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's it's something that uh, I mean, laughter is good. We know it's good and fun, and and yet we we all think that well, I have to have a reason to laugh, or there has to be a joke, or I, I have to go to a a comedian or watch a funny movie. And the idea behind laughter yoga is, you know, we can back, get back to when you were five. Did yeah. you need a reason to laugh? Yeah. No, I don't think so. And so we we need to get back to that free, uninhibited. Mm. Hey, let's just laugh because laughing is fun. I really like the way that you bring that back to our childhood, right? Because we all did so much laughing mm-hmm. as a kid, and I see that certainly with my son. The kind of just the the kind of you know not wor- not worrying if anybody's watching or anything, just that complete joy of life, right? Little freedom, yeah. yeah. And you know, it's funny. I mean, reading out those those jokes today that I saw on in the Slate article, I was like laughing out loud on the bus. I, was, I thought they were just hilarious, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. kind of brings back that kind of element of joy that I think we can all use in our life. Mm-hmm. Well, and one of the things that um, Madan says is that. There's a distinction between humor and laughter. And we kind of, in our minds, think they're the same thing, but they're different. And so uh, we think, well, we've grown up that you need a joke to laugh. And just laughing is funny. And hearing someone, how many times have you heard someone laugh and you started laughing and it was just because you heard them laugh? And so laughter is very contagious and it's something that our body wants to do. And so, yeah, we just, this is just another way. Laugh yoga is another way to get to that. Oh, my sides hurt. I can't stop laughing. Well, I got to take a short break, but when we come back, I want to see you put this into practice. So I want you to take me through some of the things that you do because I'm still not getting the whole connection, but I, I know you can show me what it is that you do. Chris Pollitt is here to help us talk about the ways that we can laugh more and how it can actually help you feel better about yourself and is actually good for your health. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming in today. No problem. Uh, you know, I love the fact that, you know, this is something that you're, you're committed to doing is helping people laugh. And, you know, why is it that laughter therapy is actually good for you, both physically, emotionally, mentally? Uh, well, I mean, it stimulates the immune system and it gets the blood flowing and um, it's just a, a mood booster. It gets endorphins flowing. Um, you've heard of a runner's high. Well, how about a laugher's high? Uh, so there's just many, many beneficial. I mean, there's lots of research. I won't bore you with all the research, but there's a lot of research about how it's a great adjunct therapy for different medications. And uh, it's great for connecting people as well. I mean, if you laugh regularly with someone, a bond happens and you don't even have to say anything. And so uh, there's just so many ways why laughter is good. And so why not do more of it? You know, I love the fact that you do this work on like a corporate level as well. I mean, what better way to team build than to mm-hmm. laugh together? Exactly. And, but now I want to try it because, you know, hearing about it theoretically, it's not the same thing as actually trying it. Correct. Um, so I want to do some on-air exercises and everybody listening can join in. But before you do this, listeners, make sure you're parked on the side of the road. It's kind of like texting. Don't text and drive. Don't uh, try these laughter exercises. Absolutely. And drive laughing time. and driving do not mix. Laughing and driving. Oh, see, good to know. This is important. Well, I can't do this alone. I'm going to bring in my superlative team of uh, from Sense of Place to join us in this experience of laughing. Jennifer Moss, our wonderful executive producer, Nabir Yusuf, our board operator and associate producer. <laughs> <laughs> See, Hello, Jen, Jen, Jen doesn't even need it. She's nice. a great laugher on her own. Ready She's got rock. it down. Uh, no. Abir, are you ready to try this? Yes, okay. I am. Okay. A little okay. bit more sane than Jen. <laughs> first of all, first of all, wait a minute. Corporate and laughter. I don't normally think of those two things together. <laughs> Can true. you was explain? A, a law firm brought me in and said, hey, we need some laughter. And so... Uh, they uh, had their legal assistants come and I led them in some laughter because, you know, it's fun. Everyone needs to laugh. All right. All right. All so right, let's uh, do it. we can start with a really simple one. So if you go up to someone and they say, you know, what is laughter yoga? You can do this one that's really kind of uh, short and uh, quick and close. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to put your two hands together. Uh, so you want to have your fingers touching. And what we're going to do is we're going to be separating each of the digits in turn. So we'll take thumbs apart, thumbs together, pointer apart, pointer together, and so on. And with each of these, we're going to make the sound ha, and we'll be adding a ha with each additional finger. And so we'll go uh, with thumbs apart with a ha. So thumbs apart, ha, 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 
So something so simple, right? Uh, it's it's physical and it's it's getting the haws out. And so you, I mean, the principles are uh, you do eye contact. Eye contact is important. So eye contact. Okay, okay. We're looking contact. at each other. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we fake it till you make it. So we make the sounds. Ha ho and he. Uh, motion creates emotion. So when we move our body, that gets our our, our mood. Ha uh, ho he. And, okay. and laughter is very contagious. Uh, you want to be able to remember when you were five. We want to talk about this earlier. You want to let go. You want to turn off that criticizing voice. We all have that voice. Anybody have that voice? Oh, I'm never. not good enough. I'm not smart enough. This is silly. Uh, you just want to throw that voice away. You want to laugh at that voice. And so if you can just let go and just have fun and despite yourself. Uh, so, so let's do another one. Okay, another um, one. Let's hear it. Okay. Uh, so you got to imagine you're at the gym and, and you're pumping some iron and, and you're very serious. And so you want to put your arm out and you're going to be breathing in. Serious, and then and breathe in, and this time we'll laugh it up. Breathe it in. <laughs> Like well, that. I'll tell you what's funny is the whole idea that I would be at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You got your workout for today. Awesome. Uh, speaking Thank of which, you. it actually is a really good workout. There's there's varying studies on this, but they say something like five minutes of laughing, like a full on laugh, is like ten minutes on a rowing machine. I don't know if it's true, but it really is a good workout. And well, so, the ab workout oh, too, it's in itself, really, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so for some people, oh, my my face hurts because I'm I'm smiling so much. And so it's true for some people. Maybe they haven't had a really uh, all on laugh until your sides hurt and your and your tears are coming down. Maybe that hasn't happened. And, a month or two months or so, some people longer. And so why, why wait for that to happen? Why wait for life to be funny? Why not go out and, and get that laughter going? Chris, got one last one for us? Um, sure. So this one is uh, something I, I can do at seniors' homes. Like there's a lot of chair laughter. And uh, this is called sneaking up on your ear. And so you, you might need to take one of the headphones off. Uh, basically, the idea is you start uh, with your hand by uh, your right hand by your right ear. Okay. You're going to be going over... And then you're going to come over the top of your head and grab your left earlobe in, in kind of a surprise way. Uh, so it's kind of like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it should be pointed out that we all look like chimpanzees yes, while doing this. Exactly. Our gift from the wall of the earth staring at us. <laughs> yeah, yes, so you look a little like silly, crazy. but you feel good, right? <laughs> I yeah. love it. It's yeah. kind of like the equivalent of stealing a kid's nose. Yeah, you know, like kind, of, kind of. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. So it's a simple little thing you can do and think oh, that was silly but it's actually quite funny when you do when you do it so well i'm sure our listeners enjoyed doing that very much i know our team did right guys yeah <laughs> yep. yeah yeah lots of fun <laughs> uh chris tell us where people can go in and try this out for themselves uh so there are several laughter clubs of course uh the one that uh i'm happy to promote is the one that uh, is for, through my friend crystal just a quick plug for crystal lee um She's uh, started the Mount Pleasant Club, which is the most recent laughter club in town. And uh, her and my friend uh, Isla help co-facilitate with her. And Crystal's really passionate about uh, community development and agrees that laughter is a great way to promote health and well-being. And she incorporates laughter into her work and her company, Beyond Maybe, uh, which includes the coaching and workplace health promotion. And so, yeah, so you can go to laughteryoga.ca and that will list all the different clubs around town. And uh, there's also a list of leaders there as well. And so absolutely, there, go there and you can find uh, where to laugh on a regular basis. There's clubs that meet uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Wednesday, uh, up at SFU, down on Commercial Drive, uh, in Kisilano. So they're all over. So there's no lack of places to get your laugh on. Chris. Thanks for showing us how to laugh. My laughter makes such a big difference in our lives. You're welcome. I've been speaking with Chris Pollitt. Thanks All for good. coming in.